Here are 20 tips to help you work more efficiently in After Effects. If you want to know the amount of time between two keyframes, but don't want to do the math to figure it out, here's an easier way. First, make sure you can see the info panel. Then hold down the Option or Alt key. Click the first keyframe, then still holding Option or Alt, click the second keyframe. The info panel will show you the duration between those two keyframes. No math needed. This even works between keyframes that are not next to each other, not on the same property, or not on the same layer. Any two keyframes will do. You can have After Effects do math for you. Just type in a simple math problem like plus 500 into a value field. You can even use operators like this for more complex math. This works in other Adobe programs too. To quickly unparent layers, hold Command or Control while clicking the pick whip of the layer. If you have multiple layers selected, you can do this for all the selected layers at once. To select all the children of a layer, right click on the parent, then choose Select Children. If you need to select all but a few layers, select the layers you don't need, then right click and choose Invert Selection. If you select a layer in the Composition Viewer and hit the X key, it will scroll to that layer in the timeline. This is handy if you have a lot of layers. It doesn't change the layer order, it just finds the one you need. Sometimes you're looking at a property in the Effects and Presets panel, likely because this property is part of an effect or preset you've applied to your layer. But now say you want to keyframe this property. To quickly open the property in the timeline, double click it in the Effects and Presets panel. This also works from the Essential Graphics panel. If you have a layer in the timeline toggled open, but you only need to see a few properties, select those properties, then hit S on the keyboard twice to solo just the selected layers. You can also condense layers by holding Option or Alt and Shift while clicking Properties to hide them. Each type of layer has its own assigned color, but you can change the color of a layer by clicking the color tag and choosing a different color. This can be helpful for organizing your timeline. You can also select all the layers with the same color by clicking on a color tag and choosing Select Label Group. This also works for keyframes. To color a keyframe or multiple selected keyframes, right click the keyframe and go to Label and then choose a color. From here, you can also choose Select Label Group to select all the keyframes that are that color. Or when you right click a keyframe, you can go to Select Keyframe Label Group and from here you'll get a few options to customize which keyframes are selected. To quickly speed up or slow down the timing of a bunch of keyframes, click and drag over the keyframes to select them. Then hold down Option or Alt and drag to stretch or shrink the distance between the keyframes. This works across as many layers and keyframes as you have selected. You can also do this in the Graph Editor. First select the keyframes, then go into the Graph Editor. If your graph is not showing up like mine, you can use this button to find it. You also need to reselect the keyframes, you should see this bounding box. If not, click here. To adjust the timing of the keyframes, scale the bounding box horizontally. If you want to adjust the value of the keyframes, adjust the bounding box vertically. Pre-compositions or videos can also be retimed by stretching or shrinking them in the timeline. Hold Option or Alt while dragging the start or end of a comp or video. Be careful that you're holding down the Option or Alt key because if you don't, it will trim the comp or video, which may or may not be what you want to do. When you stretch the layer, it slows it down and shrinking it speeds it up. In other words, you're time remapping the comp or video. If you toggle the options down here, you can see how much the comp or video has been stretched or shrunk. And it's easy to set it back to 100% here if you change your mind and don't want to retime it. If you want more control over the time remapping of a comp or video, right click it and go to Time, Enable Time Remapping. This will add the time remap property to the layer in the timeline so that you can keyframe this time. By keyframing the time of the comp or video, you're essentially animating time, which means that you can also freeze time, like if you wanted to pause on a frame. There's an easy way to reverse keyframes, like to animate something out in the reverse way that it animated in. First, I'm going to copy and paste these keyframes because I want to animate this out. Now to reverse the keyframes, make sure they're selected, then right click on one of them, go to Keyframe Assistant, Time Reverse Keyframes. You can also reverse the animation on an entire composition. First, I'm going to duplicate my comp so that the original layer animates in, and then the duplicate will animate out. To reverse a comp, right-click it and go to Time, Time Reverse Layer. 
or the keyboard shortcut is Option Command R on a Mac and Control Alt R on Windows. Keep in mind that this reverses the entire composition, so you may want to have a normal version of the comp and then a reverse version like this to animate the comp in and then out. To offset layers to create a sequential animation, first select the layers you want to stagger. The selection order matters for how the layers will be offset. So select the layer to be the first layer, then hold shift and select the layer to be the last layer to select all the layers in between or hold Command or Control and click to select multiple layers. This way you can choose the exact order you want the layers to be staggered if they're not already in that order. I'm gonna select all the layers in order. Then if you're on a Mac, hold down Command and Option, or if you're on Windows, hold down Control and Alt. You should see this icon for your cursor and then just drag to offset the layers. While you're dragging, this little overlay will tell you the amount you've offset the layers. If you want to switch this info from the time to frames or vice versa, command or control click the time code here. When you offset layers, any keyframes automatically move with the layers. If you want to offset the keyframes and not the layers, make sure the keyframes you want to offset are visible. You can show all keyframes on layers by having no layer selected and hitting U on the keyboard. From here, select the keyframes you want to offset and either hold Command or Option for Mac or Control and Alt for Windows and drag to offset. This new quick offset feature is great, but one thing it doesn't allow you to do, at least not yet, is to randomly offset layers. So I made a script that you can download for free that allows you to do that with a keyboard shortcut. Once you download the script, put the JSX file here. If you have After Effects open, you'll need to close and reopen it. Then go to File, Scripts, and you should see the script here. But we're not done. This just means you put it in the right place. Now go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. In the search bar, start typing randomized selection and the script should come up. Next to the script, click here to assign it a shortcut. I'm gonna use Command Shift R, so I'll hit those keys on my keyboard now, but you can choose any keyboard shortcut you want. Then hit OK. Now that this is set up, all you have to do to randomly offset layers is select the layers you wanna offset and hit the keyboard shortcut. Behind the scenes, the script randomizes that selection, so now all you have to do is hold Option and Command on a Mac or Alt and Control on Windows and drag to randomly offset your layers. Now that I've offset these layers, say I want to organize my timeline so that the layers are arranged by their start time. First, select all the layers you want to sort. Then go to File, Scripts, Sort Layers by Endpoint. This will arrange the layers so that the one that starts first is at the top of the timeline. If you want it to be the other way around, one of the upcoming tips will fix this. When copying and pasting layers, make sure you choose the layer you want to be on top first. Then hold Shift and select another layer to select all the layers in between, or hold Command while selecting some of the layers. When you paste the layers, whatever you selected first will be on top, and whatever you selected last will be on bottom. You can use the last tip to reverse the order of layers in the timeline. Select the bottom layer first, then hold Shift and select the top layer. Now cut the layers with Command or Control X and paste them back in the opposite order just by hitting Command or Control V. And one more bonus tip, learn as many keyboard shortcuts as you can. When you know the keyboard shortcuts, you can focus on animation and eliminate a bunch of clicks to save a lot of time. I have a free cheat sheet of keyboard shortcuts that you can download, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching, until next time, happy animating.